Hi, it's Danny here from Off The Tracks. Now, if you want to win yourself a brand new Xbox Series X or even better, a PlayStation 5, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. It's that simple. All you have to do is hit that red button, which says subscribe. So when the channel has hit 1,000 subscribers, we are going to pick a random name from the list, and then you will win one of these prizes. So subscribe. That's all we're asking. Just subscribe. Anyway, happy riding. Well, hello and welcome back to Off The Tracks and today it's time for another episode of Ride It, Pie It or Top 5 It. I'm joined as ever by Coaster Dan. Hello and welcome to Ride It, Pie It or Top 5 It. Pretty much what this series is, is that we rank a ride or a coaster and then we give it a three tier system. For example, riding it means it's okay, it's a good ride, full stop. We won't say anymore. It's Obviously, right. pie in it means absolutely it's dog crap. It's awful. Not a chance. Not even if you paid me. Wouldn't go on it. And not getting top five in it, which means absolutely incredible. It belongs up there with the legend coasters. So, Lee, what ride have we decided to review this week? Well, today it is time for the Smiler at Alton Towers. I've been excited about this one. <laughs> Here we uh, go. The Smiler. That's right. It opened mm. in 2013. In May, may I ask, not in March. So somewhere on the lines, I think they had an issue opening. Because usually rides open literally as the season opens. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think they had some issues. However, mm -hmm. I can see why. It's a very complex coaster it is. Very um, technical. Cost, cost a whopping £18 million pounds and obviously replaced it. The unfortunately black hole. Which yeah. is quite sad. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Because I enjoyed the black hole. But, so. of course, it is the world record holder. We're lucky to have it. The world record holder for inversions, 14. Insane, insane amount. It is. So, Lee, what is the Smiler? Well, it is a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, and it is the first and only one that we've got in the country. It's absolute beauty. I, I absolutely love it. And like I said, it's the first ever to fo feature 14 inversions. Um, it's just insane, isn't it? It's, it is. It, it is. Uh, what a bonkers coaster sits down there in X Sector. I think I think personally the theming matches the the area really well with Oblivion and stuff there. I think they complement each other really well. Oh. And um, yeah, I, I know a lot of people don't. I know it, it could be could have a little bit more going on in the station and stuff. I know people complain about that, but I think it's great. I think the theming's cool. I think the ride's even better. Yeah, it's one of them coasters as you're walking into X Sector, you can hear it before you can yeah. see it. The whole like roaring and stuff like that. Um, and I think looking at it off ride, this thing looks like a spaghetti of a mess. Mm. It's Just, mental. I mean, the engineering in this thing is top notch, and I think it, it gets. It, I think it gets put underrated of someone's actually designed this coaster. Yeah, and the um, footprint of it is so small. Mm. If you even look at like look at something like Wicker Man, you know the footprint of it. And what you get in there compared to the Smiler, it's, it's like a shoebox, just yeah, absolutely well, full of track. It's amazing. Well, talking about shoeboxes, that reminds me of the uh, the station, really. Let's let's look yeah. at it in that way. Uh, it's it's not really the prettiest, but um, yeah. So pr pretty much, as you're walking uh, down into X Sector, you can see it. Now we'll start off with the queue line. Mm. That is the only part of the ride I despise is the queue line. I think the music is great until you've been stood in that queue for an hour. <laughs> It's loud because the ride's right above your head. You're in a metal cage which is rattling and vibrating because of the coaster, and then you've got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I must say, though, when it rains, that whole queue line turns oh, into a friggin' a swimming pool. Puddle, yeah, it does. Me and you were in there, weren't we, on opening day this year, 2021, and the puddles. We literally had to jump over. The, they were covering the whole of our, our walkway, so. I've yeah. never I've never seen a queue line so bad. Uh, I've seen bits and bobs from like say tidal wave at Thorpe Park, but mm. um, but you know you're going on a water ride, so you're not that. Bothered. You expect that, of course you do. But, but yeah, with the with, smiler. With the smiler, it's like I ain't smiling. This <laughs> my train is a ditch, man. What, what are you doing, yeah. man? Uh, I think that's there's a couple of things that I would improve about that. Like even being in that cage isn't nice. It's not a nice experience. I mean, I get what they're doing. It's kind of you know it's meant to be a bit of a daunting ride and it's building up anticipation, but. You're just in a cage, aren't you? And when it starts raining and there's 50,000 people behind you, you, you you're like, oh, I'm just, it's a bit. Um, I, I just think, I just think like, 
yeah, the, the the music irritates me after mm-hmm. like being in it for fifteen minutes, and then like I call it the chicken run because it just I've ever seen a chicken farm. They yeah. literally are. We we feel like chickens in a cages or all the mm-hmm. way around it, and it's just uh, horrendous. And then you walk into like I would say it's not a pre-show. It's just the I think at the beginning bit of the station where you obviously got the uh, the holograms, the projector mapping and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. which um, is absolutely awful. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's so bad in there. Yeah, and when the strobe goes off, I mean, I'm not epileptic or anything, but it's uncomfortable for me. I'd hate it. And then when you you get out of there and you go into the big bright yellow staircase, and it's like, <laughs> I like how it is a little bit. It, it sort of knocks your senses a bit. You know, it's really dark and it's all blurry, and then you into the light, and that adds when you know when the lights hit you as you dispatch, and that's great. But yeah, there's just a couple of things I think. <sighs> not ideal <laughs> I know I know and uh, I don't know what's with the random paint brushes in the ceiling I think they're smart I only noticed them like a season ago you think Xavier they're smart them out. I think they look cool man I think it's just a bit something different isn't it the whole like, ride is completely messed up let's be honest because random, even when you exit yeah. as well uh, you've got the rainbow stairs so it's kind of mm-hmm. like well, what's going on with this Jack Norris story like mm-hmm. well, what's going on but yeah so yeah the ride itself right they well we'll start off with the the station the station isn't the greatest it's just a big white shoe box um, and then you obviously you uh, you you got your trains there as well I think it hold I think it's uh, four or fours so you know it's 16 16 it? people yeah. it holds so not many at all it holds mm. so the throughput they get them out there don't more. they with the dueling aspect they, c- they can get them out there pretty quick um but yeah it's um and then obviously you go into the indoor section a bit like saw uh, you go mm. down and you obviously got the invert and then you obviously i love that bit where just before you hit the bottom of the lift hill where you've got the light strobe lights not strobe yeah. lights, but the, like, i love that whole start yeah before the first lift hill i think's amazing i love the first little hill out of the station pack such a punch for it what does. it is and then you hit that the corkscrew there i think it's a corkscrew or barrel roll whatever it is correct yeah. me in the comments it's fantastic i love it uh and then it's really cool though when you get it dueling as well uh, the, the whole thing of it all absolutely that's incredible. one of the best parts about it when you get up to that first lift and you can kind of judge if you're going to duel and when you both crest the the edge there it's like oh here we go and then when you hit the back end you know the sort of the bat wing i think yeah and Oh, when you're both dueling over there, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. It is. It's incredible. And what's really most incredible is the fact of it's uh, two minutes and 45 seconds. It's yeah, one of the it's longest it's coasters uh, yeah. out there, which is uh, amazing. It is. Well, I think um, the first half alone, when you hit the second um, vertical lift hill, I think that the first part of the ride is longer than most coasters at Towers. Yeah. <laughs> just no, the no, first just, half It's true, it. though. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And you've got some incredible mm. air times. Obviously, you've got the big marmalizer uh, in yeah, the center brilliant. all. Uh, where do you know? Do you know what they are? Tickler. The tickler, the inoculizer. Um. <laughs> I never know what the other two are. Is it two or is it an extra four? I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love the fact of it. it. Does need that halfway point, and you do need it. Let's be honest, because uh, after that, my head is all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, but I think they need to turn the speaker slightly down i don't know about you lee what do you reckon oh on the the vertical lift yeah hill. yeah it's horrendous it's i always say this i'm like why is it so loud it's so here? loud like is there a need for this it's piercing my ears and i'm a <laughs> dj in a nightclub i've never heard anything as loud as that it was, i've got to correct myself so before i said a bat wing it's actually a cobra roll i think and there's yeah, a sea roll. serpent roll yeah so it's got it's got so many elements though it's got like three dive loops Two I corkscrews, three, actually four corkscrews, sorry. Five even, a heartline roll, sidewinder. It's just so action-packed, isn't it? And Looking at the stats here, I'm just blown away, even though I've, I've ridden it loads. But. And and the and how it keeps its speed, though, Lee, through <sighs> the entire thing. Yeah. And like when you're hitting the, the two corkscrews at the end and then into that sort of bank turn round, it's still flying into the station you know into that final break yeah it's flying in i think it's i know i know that it, it, it i think the speed of it goes about i think it's like 52 miles an hour 53 miles an hour it does so um incredible absolutely incredible however 52. though i need to know lee is it rough personally i don't think so i think i know what people mean there's a couple of janky transactions towards the end yeah i know one sure. of them one you know exactly which one the last one before you, you go back um but i don't think it's rough I think it's it, it kind of throws you around a little bit. Again, like Nemesis does, but that's what I want in in that kind of intense coaster. So no, I don't think it's rough. I think no, it's just um, a I good think ride. it's I think it's uh, I more enjoy it than I do think it's rough. I think we have to you know rate this sucker. Mm. So Lee, 
what is it going to be? This is going to be hard. I have yeah, no idea hard. what you're going to say. It is tough. It's tough. I think for me, it's just one of them things. It's a world record holder still. Um, I remember when I first went after it reopened, I had, it was like one of the only coasters that got me a little bit nervy mm. queuing up before I rode it. I was just a bit like in anticipation of it. So with all these things considered, I'm going to have to top five it. Wow. Big top five for the Smiler. I there think it's it is. A fantastic wow. ride. Top five in it. Um, with myself, um, I think it's an incredible ride. Uh, if this was somewhere else, I don't like it how it gets slated all the time. Uh, if this was somewhere else in the world, people would be mm -hmm. bigging even more in the UK. Oh, um, yeah. I'm going to have to top five it. Yes! It's a big I think one for I, the just smiler. Just mirror what you just said, you know, it's incredible. You know, it could do with a better theme, but does it really need it considering... What it, how yeah, it's got complex, so much going on. Yeah, yeah, how complex the whole thing is itself. So, um, yeah, I definitely would uh, top five it. Guys, let us know in the comments below. Would you ride it, pie it, or top five it? We would love you guys to uh, let us know. So I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> no, it's past. It's past. Don't forget you can follow us on our social medias on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon. Every time we upload a new video, you will be notified. So I'm Dan. And I am Lee. And thank you for watching. And as always, happy riding. <laughs> See you in the next one. See you, everybody. Bye-bye. So, yeah. No, mate. And obviously, Marcus, um, are you still a photographer at Merlin? I'm not a photographer at Merlin. I'm, I I do some of their photography stuff. You make him sound like he's the guy who stands in like the entrance <laughs> way. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I don't ask for photo. people's digi <laughs> or... He does, you want a photo? He's one of them. You want a photo? Can I? <laughs> Just don't work at Alton Towers. Uh, uh, this is my announcement. I'm officially Pom Vom. So, uh... <laughs>